As the vaccine rollout continues with some bumps in the road, questions about the shots keep coming up. Yeah, some of our viewers wonder, can you get the shot if you've had COVID? And what about this new strain from the UK? CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez has some answers. Our first question is one that has many people worried. Erica asks whether the current vaccines will protect against the new corona strain from the United Kingdom. Erica, every expert I've spoken to tells me they believe the vaccines will be protective against the new strain. But we now have some scientific data to back that up. A not yet peer-reviewed study by Pfizer and the University of Texas Medical Branch indicates the COVID-19 vaccine is effective in neutralizing the UK coronavirus mutation. While the study is limited because it was done on blood samples in the lab, not on people, it's consistent with similar positive tests on 15 other mutations so far. So it's all good for now. This question comes from David and a number of others. Do I have to test negative to get the vaccine? And what happens if I have COVID and get the vaccine? Well, here's what the CDC says about that, based partly on clinical trial evidence and partly on extrapolation from other studies. mRNA COVID-19 vaccines, Pfizer and Moderna, are safe in persons who've had prior COVID infection, whether they had symptoms or not. That said, someone who's had COVID is relatively immune for 90 days or so and could delay the vaccine, but it is safe to get one at any time. Likewise, a COVID test, positive or negative, is not necessary or recommended before getting the vaccine. But if you have an active COVID infection, the CDC says to wait until you're fully recovered and out of the quarantine period. In other words, if you can get a vaccine, go for it, regardless of a COVID test or previous infection. But these recommendations apply only to the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. There may be new guidance once other vaccines are given authorization. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. Head to our website to submit your question for Dr. Max and to read his responses to some other frequently asked vaccine questions. It's all at CBSNewYork.com. Solid information there.